During our discussions, we arrived at a mutual consensus on many issues, which I would term extremely positive. I'm not ready to compromise our discussions. The SLPP has a very similar political ideology to ours, but we have a number of issues to resolve with them. We are against corruption and looting public property. We saw what happened during the 52-day government. If the same happens when Gautabe Rajpaksha comes to power, the SLFP will have no option but to stand against them from the very outset. <laughs> SLPP supporters won't vote for the UNP if there is a symbol other than the flower bud. But there are SLFP supporters who are not prepared to vote for the symbol flower bud because these two groups have had clashes at the grassroots level. This is why we are asking them to stop clinging on to a specific symbol and choose an appropriate alternative. <laughs> The SLFP is ready to join an alliance of parties to contest the upcoming presidential election. We are not joining an SLPP alliance. Therefore, we can't use the symbol of either of the parties for an alliance. That is why we need a separate symbol. We will not agree to change our symbol from the flower bird under any circumstances or influences. We have had around 15 rounds of talks so far, but the topic of changing the symbol has not been raised during any of these talks. The reason we criticize him is because of the statements he make. The 2015 presidential candidate said he will not reside in presidential mansions or use cutouts. This candidate repeats the same things. Will the people accept these? Maxis, number one time in Sri Lanka.